guys, welcome back to Troy Drone Flights. So, uh, I completely crashed my DJI Air 2S drone yesterday. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm very grateful that uh, I got it back, right? Yesterday was a beautiful day. It was about 50 degrees here in uh, New England. So, um, that's like summertime right now to us because it's been freezing uh, we've been getting sub 32 degrees temperatures the last several weeks and um, I haven't been able to get any drone footage because it's been too cold and I've been working quite often but um, I wanted to uh, take my drone out and you know put some miles on it some may say I want to fly yesterday it was a beautiful day and I crashed it and I crashed it in uh, Rumford Rhode Island I uh, went to a uh, public farm and um, they had like a dam, a reservoir, huge lake, um, and huge farmland. And uh, I just wanted to get some um, footage of the area, which I'll be showing you shortly. But um, as you can see here, I was able to recover my uh, Air 2S, which I'm very half happy and grateful to have recovered. But as you see, the props are pretty much done. And these are those Smurf Blue Master Air Props. And, um, <laughs> listen, um, and it was totally, um, pilot error. So where I was flying this drone, right, I was attempting to get, uh, dam footage of the actual dam in the overcast of the water actually coming down. And, um, I was flying pretty much diagonally like so. And as you know, the... Air 2S doesn't have side sensors, right? It have the sensors in the front, sensors in the back, sensors in the bottom, but it doesn't have the sensors in the side. So, you know, um, I'm, 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 you know, getting my footage, you know, I'm in cinema mode and I'm just coasting nice and slow, nice and slow. And next thing you know, the drone gets caught up in the thorn bush batch of trees. And initially I thought, oh my God, the drone's going to fall in water. And I'm about to lose my drone. Um, fortunate enough for me, um, as I tried to, once I noticed that the props were getting caught up on the actual thorn bushes, I tried to then elevate the drone. But as it elevated, um, I guess it got entangled in the bushes even more so therefore the props got even more entwined with the actual thorn bushes and the actual thorn bushes in a way held the drone in place and maybe let's say that thorn bush let's say was maybe six to seven feet above the actual water so if that bush or if the wind would have blown or if I would have continued to jostle with the props, it might have just capsized and uh, my drone possibly would have fell in the water. But, you know, I was able to recover it. What I uh, immediately did was um, I knew the general location of, uh, you know, where the drone was because I didn't lose line of sight of it. But um, I couldn't locate it visually for whatever reason. Um, so I went to the general location where I thought it was. I then activated Find My Drone on the app. So it started flashing the lights and it started beeping. Unfortunately, being that it's on a reservoir and the dam and the motion of the water, it was so loud I can barely hear the actual beeping. So my lady's was with me and I'm like, babe, just, just go a little bit further down that way. I'll go this way. It got to be in the vicinity of these trees here because what you were able to do on the app, I don't know if you guys know, you're actually able to review footage because I was recording as well and I'll show you guys the recording in a second I was recording the footage when the crash actually occurred so I was able actually to see right the actual crash where it crashed at the time in the general location where it was so long story short we found it and um, my lady was able to reach over grab it and um, untangle untwine the uh, the drone from the uh, thorn bushes but as you can see, these are my Master Air Screw props, and they're pretty much toasted. Um, as you can see, there's uh, let's see if I can 
damage here to the tip of this actual prop here. So I'm going to have to take that off. Um, this is damage here. Let's see if I can zoom that in a little bit for you guys so you guys can see a little better. There's a uh, damage here to the tip of this prop. I don't know if that's focusing in for you guys too well. It's catching me more than uh, the prop. Um, so that's two props that's damaged. Uh, this prop here is damaged as well. Damaged as well. And this prop here, as you can see, is uh, totally damaged. So at, at any rate, I'm generally going to have to... Um, replace these props um, and I'm after you know get a sponge and just lightly wash down my ear 2s um, and again I'm just happy that I recovered um, the actual drone because again it was hanging and caught in the thorn bush and it was maybe about six to seven feet above the water so if we would have if, if my lady would have pulled the wrong thorn bush or branch when she was trying to retrieve this thing because she had to reach out and get it um this would have been toasted this would have been done um and i don't have any insurance on my air to us to be quite honest uh, but i will be returning back to the actual location um shortly and getting more footage and um you know because it, it was a beautiful day it was a beautiful location i can see myself going there time and time again to this farm location in rumford rhode island and um, I'm able to recover. What I'm probably going to do, obviously, at this point, I'm going to um, put back on the OEM props that came with the Air 2S, which is fine. They were more than fine. Uh, to be quite honest, um, I really enjoy these Smurf Blue Master Air Screw props. Um, uh, they do come with um, attributes that uh, are not present with the uh, OEM props that come with the uh, Air, uh, Air 2S. And I do like this color. For whatever reason, I like this Smurf blue color. But um, I'm still deciding whether I'm going to get another color from those guys or maybe reach out to them and maybe they'll see this video and maybe be uh, kind enough to send me out another uh, pair of Air 2S props. Or I'll just buy another pair. Push come to shove because I, I really enjoy their props. But this is my first time I ever crashed a drone. To be quite honest, and I haven't been flying drones for years like some people have. Some people are like legendary pilots and things of that nature. And they, oh, I have never crashed my drone. I've never crashed. I'm just that much of a great drone pilot. I will never crash. Shit's going to happen. You're going to crash your drone. You just hope to uh, crash it to a degree where it's not uh, completely destroyed and you can recover it and salvage it and um, get it back up in the air once you uh, repair it. Um, cause I really thought I was going to lose it, um, you know, in the water and that was going to be that. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and, um, check out the video or the little footage of, uh, you know, video that I did catch, uh, with the Air 2S.